All right, guys, uh, we're back again with uh, Divorce the Horse. This is, that goes with the Endeavor right here. And today, you guys saw the video that we made with the uh, solar panels mounted on the Unistruts and uh, how we're gonna be putting them on, on the roof up there. And today, the exciting thing, we're gonna be adding the inverter and all the good stuff right here. With JW Solar USA. Working in the garage here and see how we can set up things on a very beautiful day today. And here goes the system. It's gonna be a Magnum inverter we're gonna be running. And this is the uh, ACDC uh, combiner. I started putting it together. These are all the stuff, the components that is gonna be sitting, uh, it's gonna be utilizing here. All right, guys. So these are the modules and, sorry, the batteries, the lithiums. And those are the solar panels we've been putting together. Right, they're leaning on the thing. So big project. So I already have this one sit in. And I gotta bring the inverter and slide it in here. I'm gonna take this hood out and slide the inverter in. And we're gonna start putting the batteries all together. These are 30 batteries. And uh, they are here, and the rest of them are here. So if you see, it's going to be 30 batteries. So we're going to 15 in parallel, 15 in parallel series. So these are two strings we're going to be having. Two strings at 8.2 volt. Then after that, we series it. So it goes to 16, 16.2, 16.3. So this is what we're gonna be utilizing. And we're gonna be having a total of, uh, each battery is a 66 amp hour, so 66 times, 63, six times three, uh, no, 30. It's supposed to give you 990 amp hours, something like that. So, we're going to be connecting the spacers and everything, get everything. Solar panels are there. Those are big solar panels, but these are just going to be a transition where we already thought about going with um, uh, uh, peel and stick panels. I got to show you the inverter here. It's, it's, a, it's a Magnum um, 2012, something like that. You guys have seen this, and I'm gonna be showing you. This thing can only stay. Yeah, right there is the MS 2012 20B. Okay, that's a 20 amp. It's giving you us brand new, brand new. There goes the book. It's a brand new device. So everything we're gonna be doing here, and we have the charge controller that is gonna go with this. Is uh Midnight Classic 150. Midnight Classic 150 MPPT charge controller. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. As we this is another project here, super strut, big ones. We're gonna be incorporating them to build some solar panels. JW Solar USA with uh divorce the horse live here in Minnesota. Thanks for watching. So I'm tightening up the uh, the bolt here. Uh, just want to show you what is going on. That's a very sweet system here. So guys, you've seen everything. This has a big uh, battery disconnect or main breaker, which is uh, 250 amps. All these breakers are incorporated. So, we're going to be having the battery connectors right here the bus bar, the inverter, uh, the charge controller and any of the other small devices you want to use 
and we can have the PV here and this is the DC negative the ground so that's the start you got a shunt right here so if it goes with the uh, um, Magnum BMK it's fine but I think probably it's gonna go with the uh, midnight classic uh, 150 we're gonna be using with the Wispang Jr. so it's cheaper from so it's gonna be a better transition sorry do I sound sound funny because I have a mask on my face and um, I'm working with divorce the horse so we have to practice the social distancing and make sure we protect each other you know so this is uh this is a strong uh thing for gw solo usa i don't take it funny i don't take a joke so i always uh I do my social distancing and make sure i wear my mask and uh if i have to work with you you gotta wear a mask or you gotta leave the area or else i'm not gonna be working with you at all don't take chances Thanks for watching. Bye for now. All right, so now we're making the boss bar with the bench drill press. This is a 12 speed made by Central. There you go, right there. So. how it looks like making the holes move, move a little bit and now we're going back for the other hole all right well this is the other face we do now for the boss part these are the batteries already set up here so what we're using to make the thing is made by performance this guy here a drill bit set so here are the numbers this is the middle one we're using right now is a little one i have here on hand all right okay this is how we've done it all right, guys, you're going to be seeing I'm going to be inserting the inverter to the box and stay tuned for that. And it's going to sit right there and bolt it all the way. And the hood is going to stay on these top ones. Like and subscribe. Now you have just witnessed how this thing is going to go now. And look at this. It's going to sit right on these uh, bus bars here. I'm going to slide it in and right there. It's in. So all the holes are perpendicular to the hole or parallel to each other. Then you get a nice contact. So what we're going to do now, using the, the nuts right here for the uh, inverter, and started knotting this thing all the way in. So that's how you install. This is how you put together a magnum inverter on uh, the MMP250S. So this one is already in. Look at how nice it is, right? So we gotta tighten up all the, the bolts and nuts. So now you see, it has become a full system now. Stay tuned. Now you see how everything works and make sure this thing slides all the way in on a video with one hand and show you guys how everything is working here with the JW Solar USA and divorce the horse. So 
like and subscribe. Okay, now it's all in. Everything, everything is bolted in, and uh, gotta tighten up these ones. So I'll grab the hood right here and slide it on this thing. Sits right there and sits right here. So I'm gonna bolt that one in, tighten it, and uh, show you how it looks like. Now you witness a full install. I just put all these inverter together and I'm gonna just wire this thing up, you know, to the input and output for the AC and DC uh, power coming into charge uh, generator or a grid. So everything is already in place and this is how it looks like. So, almost done. So if I take this one and set it in here, which I'm still using only one hand to do this. Voila, it's a complete system. Look at that. So we have a full system. That's so. A complete Magnum components and everything we have the back plates here we can just attach it where we want to mount it up and wire up this thing and there we go we're done all right take care guys like and subscribe stay tuned for more to come while we're going to be working on the batteries bye all right guys we already have 15 batteries here 15 more to go yeah, there's a 15 over there and we're going to make another bank of this 15 it's going to go right here we don't want it to be all the way long because if you you parallel them it would have been like easier as well but uh we're going to go the other way around let's check it out and see what we do and you can cut that all right I know a lot of you guys will be scared because you think that thing's close to the, the battery. Someone said that, that's not a good idea to do, but hey, that's the easiest way instead of using Axor. All right, like and subscribe, JW Solo USA. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, this is how we've been so busy. Put all these things together. And you see we're right there right there the other side so if you never experienced this this is how it's worked so we have the other ones standing up they're up you can see this place is up and this one is going uh the other way other direction but bottom diving so that we can able to get this and this these two positive to negative after we parallel them because they're all parallel so we just put this on because we're having trouble first because the batteries are all shaky everywhere so to stabilize them we have a brick like this being stabilized and everything's would have been worked fine so stabilizing them so we can push the rods cut the height and now it's going to be all in parallel here. And we can just series this side here with a bar. Okay. Uh, a bar in this thing. And that gives you the series configuration. So we have a positive off from here and a negative from here. That's how we're going to draw the batteries. So positive, negative here. So you have to draw, you have to draw from the opposite. I forgot I was going to show you the camera. Positive. After we parallel this, it's gonna be like this. If you put anything from this now, it's not gonna arc anymore. Okay, like this. 
So positive to negative, that's how you see in this barriers one. It's all negative, it's all positive. So one wire or bus bar right here, you already see this, this 15 batteries, 15 batteries, and we're, we're drawing from one to one. All right, like and subscribe. JW Solar Easy USA, thanks a lot for watching. I have a mask on my face. Sounds funny, but we got to do what we got to do. All right, bye for now. This is what we call the power wall. Look at that. Right here at JW Solar USA and Divorce the Horse. What do you think, Divorce the Horse? <laughs> That's a lot of power, baby. Fifteen modules on the left, fifteen modules on the right. So, so each battery is 500 watts. So times that, you tell me, it's a lot of power in this thing. It's a lot of power, guys. A lot of power. So, it's a 12-volt system. It's going to be a lot of amps into this. A lot of amps. So just calculate what they said about the battery's capacity, which is a... Uh, 66 amp hours, 66 times uh, 15 because they're all in parallel, then it goes series. All right, all right, take care, guys. 12 volt system right here. This is what you do. So, 12 volt system, you can just use a bus bar and come from here to here after they already parallel here to here. Here to here, that gives you the the 12 volts. It goes a 16 point something. Or you can come either or, and you're gonna take one end out, one end on the other side, and you're all fine. Like and subscribe. GW Solo USA. We don't build any funny stuff. We build some massive and really sophisticated and complex. If you're trying to do something, you better do it right for the first time. Do it right for the first time. And you don't have to regret what you did. And we have to use improvised special board sets to just, you know, the A-frame thing to put these things in action. All right. Okay, take care guys.